Hello, I'm Marielena Oladillo, psychologist, and I dedicate myself to accompany people to create the life of plenitude and well-being they deserve. Today, I come to talk to you about a question that can change your life as it changed mine. So keep watching this video and stay with me until the end. Many times we try to find a deep meaning to our existence. We think that it is our partner, that we don't know what to do, that we don't know which profession we can focus on, that we don't know which road to take in life. And there is actually a question that can mark a before and an after in any area of your life. What is that question? Am I really enjoying what I'm doing? It is a very simple question, it is a very easy question, but it can be extrapolated to any aspect of your life and it can give you different results and above all, it can help you make strong decisions and clarify when it comes to doubts or concerns about how to proceed. Deep down, the question hides deep roots and it is, when you are not enjoying yourself, when you are not having fun, when you are not having a good time, this is definitely not the right place. And you'll ask yourself, Maria, but there are many things in life that I do that I don't necessarily like. Without a doubt, sometimes there are activities and commitments that are a means to an end. But when you remember that your end is something that you are truly passionate about and that produces well-being and that you really enjoy, you change the perception about that small activity that simply adds to much greater well-being. I'm going to explain it in a much simpler way. Let's see it in a relationship. Are you having a good time? Are you having fun? That doesn't mean that in a relationship there will not be conflicts, there will not be challenges, or there will be no misunderstandings. Sure, any relationship has ups and downs, but if we take it to an average, if we analyze your relationship, are you having fun most of the time? This doesn't mean that things go the way you want. It doesn't mean that you are always in control. This doesn't mean, I'm not even asking if you are feeling loved or not, or if your partner is loyal or not. I'm asking you, are you having fun? Are you having a good time? Let's see it at work. When it comes to a work activity, you will surely say, Maria, this is not the profession I wanted. I have to be in this job because it is the only opportunity that came to me in this moment or in this circumstance. Ask yourself, Am I having a good time? When we find ourselves with no other alternative than to accept a proposal, we choose to accept a job, but I say, well, I understand that this is simply transitory. I understand that I'm fortunate to at least have a job while I vibrate in a different way and do what is necessary so that opportunities materialize for me. I'm going to have a good time, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to do my best and give my best to stop making this hill and turn it into a pleasant experience only by changing my attitude. Are you having a good time? Ask yourself this, when you are invited to a family reunion, when you have to visit your father or mother on the weekends, do you go because you are really going to have a good time? Or you go because, mm, if I don't go, who's going to put up my mom all week asking me why I didn't go to the family dinner on Sunday? Or, if I don't go, I'll feel bad and feel that at the same time I'm not being a good daughter, I'm not being a good family member because I'm distancing myself from family. Are you going for pleasure and for fun or because you feel faulty and obliged? Ask yourself, Am I having a good time? When you have to make a decision and you find yourself in a dilemma and you say, my God, which road do I take? Sit down for a moment, soothe the voices in your mind and listen here, in the depths of your soul, in your heart, and ask yourself which of the two choices produces the greatest feeling of well-being and plenitude. Am I having a good time? Am I going to have a good time? To go or not to go to that party, to continue or not to continue in this relationship, to accept or not accept this job offer, whatever the dilemma you find yourself with, which of the two alternatives produces genuine enthusiasm, not in your mind, but in your heart? Now, the final key that I want to share with you in this short video today is that I know that there are situations in which you say, I don't have such a good time. For example, 
I decided to get up every morning and run 5 kilometers. The truth is I'm not having a good time. This is not true, not true. When you're in bed, you say, I'm really having a better time here in the warmth of my bed, sleeping half an hour more before I go to work. That's what your mind thinks. But when you wake up, when you look in the mirror, and when the day ends and you feel that you failed yourself, when you see those extra pounds, or you feel that when you climb a few steps you are already short of breath, that your respiratory system is not working, that your heart rate is every time much lower, and that your heart doesn't work well, you say, if I had run those five kilometers this morning. Okay, I want you to be aware of this. Five, twenty, thirty minutes of peace in the bed, sleeping a little more, versus all day, all way thinking, I feel bad, I'm suffocating, my body doesn't respond, I have no energy, I haven't been able to lose weight, those extra pounds. Actually, if you put it to a scale, how are you going to feel better? When are you going to have a good time? When you reproach yourself for breaking a promise you made to yourself, are you having a good time? Are you having fun? No. When you wake up in the morning and run those five kilometers, probably the first two kilometers you will say, ah, this is horrible, I can't. And you will realize that it is difficult at the beginning, but each day is going to get easier. And each day you're going to have more fun and you're going to have a good time. For example, in this case of sports, you will realize that the difficult thing is not running, that the difficult thing is not exercising and lifting weights, I don't know, or doing aerobics. The difficult thing is to create the habit. But every day it becomes much easier as you commit to yourself and it only depends on your change of perception and your change of attitude when you say, I'm having a good time, now you know. In a situation, in a circumstance, in a relationship, before a decision, this question can change your life. Am I having fun? Am I having a good time? Is it worth it? Is it worth the effort? Is it worth the commitment? Am I having a good time? And please, please don't give up. Don't believe that there are no other alternatives for you. Remember that at some point in my life, I was also like you, in a job that did not satisfy me, where I did not feel full when Sunday nights came and I said, I don't want to get up tomorrow. I don't want to go to that meeting. I don't want to go to that job. I don't want to go to that assembly. I just wasn't having a good time. I wasn't having fun. And there, where you cannot have fun, where you don't live that experience which has tests and challenges, as a great learning opportunity, as an adventure. Ask yourself this, each challenge that is coming into my life at work, in my family, in love, with my partner, with my friends, am I seeing it as an adventure? After all, am I seeing it as a challenge that excites me, in which I have fun and I'm having a good time? Or am I seeing it as a nightmare, as a torment? where you're not having a good time, then that's not your place. Please, don't give up. Don't forget that if you put your mind to it, there will always be a new alternative for you. I send you a kiss, a hug, and before saying goodbye, I will invite you to follow me on my social networks. If you haven't done so, please go to Instagram, and if you don't have an account, open one. You just have to choose to fill your mind with valuable information. I know many people are reluctant to social networks because they think they are frivolous. You don't have to upload photos if you don't want to. Just choose very well. Follow accounts that contribute to your growth, your development, and the expansion of your consciousness. There on Instagram, I'm sharing keys, tips, and recommendations all the time so that you can shine and give your light to the world. I send you a kiss, a hug, and see you in the next video.